my name is Seth. I'm here with Beckley. We're at Gracie, Vermont, bringing you another move of the week. Continuing where we left off with back control, we're looking today at transitioning. I tell my students, when you've achieved a dominant position like the back mount, you're allowed to do one of three things. You're allowed to control and cook them, you're allowed to attack them, and you're allowed to transition to another position. So far in this video series, we've looked at controlling and cooking them on the back. We went over the very fundamental rear naked choke. Today, we're going to look at how we transition from the back to different positions. So, if I'm on Becky's back, and she's doing a good job of controlling the choking arm. I have my hooks in, I have my over-unders, but she scoots down, then she clears my hook and starts to drive her shoulders to the mat. At this point, I've lost back control. I can't keep holding on, trying to pull her back onto me. I need to move on. So, once I realize I've lost that angle to the back, I'm gonna post my arm. She scoots down, clears the leg. As she drives, I post. I'm gonna take my other leg, I'm gonna step over her hips, and as she turns into me, I'm gonna drive with my hips into her, up into the mounted position. Make sure you lead with your hips, not with your knees. Again, I have the back. She's doing a good job of controlling the choking arm. She scoots down, clears the hook, drives her shoulders over my leg, post. Step, as she drives into me, I use my hips to power forward on top of her taking the mount. The other thing we could do is that if she understands about passing that arm, a very strong defense, she's controlling the choking arm, she scoots down, but now she passes the arm over her head, drives her shoulders to the mat, then turns into my guard, I've lost that position. So I need to move sooner than when she gets over that leg. So when she controls the arm, scoots down, and passes the arm over the head, I'm gonna take both of my feet and I'm gonna drop them to the outside of her hip. Now I'm gonna take this inside arm and I'm gonna control her arm. Before she can get her shoulders over my leg, I'm gonna kick my leg out and around her face, pulling my heels to my butt, knees together, controlling the wrist, and falling back with my arm lock. Again, this has to happen simultaneously when she passes that arm. So, controls the choking arm, scoots down, she passes the arm, I'm switching out, taking the arm, finishing. This is a transition as well as an attack based on a time when your opponent's doing what they should do to survive and escape the back. My name is Seth, this is Beckley, we're at Gracie Vermont bringing you another move of the